Hey guys, I'm back to more Last of Us 2. So, instead of playing more story mode, I decided to play a little bit of the No Return roguelike mode that came out with the remastered edition. So, obviously, roguelike means that you pretty much pick a character, any character you want, but you have to unlock them first. So, when you start off a new run, you only have two characters, and that's Ellie and Abby. And as you play the both of them, you unlock more characters. As you play the other characters, you unlock even more characters. And... Obviously, I want to play as Joel, but can't really do it off the bat. You gotta play as Tommy first, and to play as Tommy, you gotta play as Jesse. You play as Jesse, you gotta play as Dina. And to play as Dina, you gotta play as Ellie. So let's play as Ellie. I am only gonna do one run to see how it is. If I fail or don't fail, I'm not sure how long it is. And there's a lot of controls. Good thing I just played the game. So, uh, I'm not too new to it. Planning board to select your next encounter, making a path towards the final boss. Encounters vary based on location, enemy faction, mods, and victory conditions. Okay. Here we go. So I can pick a path... That's predetermined. Wait, so I just started? I don't know if I was supposed to prepare with anything else that was in the room. An assault groups of enemies spawn in waves. Their initial knowledge of your position varies per encounter. Use the downtime between waves to heal and resupply. Supply cache will appear after completing each wave. Use listen mode to reveal its location. Picture. Oh, there it is. All right, resupply. Got some firecrackers. Can you not sense enemies during this mode? Oh, I have to actually press it.
Gotcha. Now what? Can't grab a gun? That sucks. Got another cache? Just gotta sneak around. There. Is that it? Am I done? Okay. Jackson Assaults. Performance. Time complete. Five minutes. That is really... Sure. I thought it was like a survival thing until you die, but I guess not. Huh. Maybe there's like a mode like that in it where you can turn on like infinite waves? Complete two encounters with Ali to get Dina. Okay. I can do another one. That's like, what, 10 minutes? Give or take? Supplements and parts can be used to upgrade your character for the next fight. Visit the trading post to exchange currency for weapons, items, and crafting recipes. Items for sale change each time you return to the hideout. Oh, so this place. This little hut wherever I am here. And I got nothing. Oh, there you go. That's how you get your reward. The trading post inventory refresh every counter. Okay. Got a pump shotgun. Stun bombs. Trap mine recipe. Melee upgrade recipe. Trading post reroll. Let's do a little bit of upgrading. How much I got? I got 50. Can't do a lot. You know, more rounds may be the way to go now, because if you're a little too good, you can save up your ammo pretty well and you can't grab any more. All right, so how do I start again? Just look at the board and press X. Oh, okay, and you lock more stage when you beat the first one. So can you not redo it? Shipping yard, rewards, vigilance, close quarters, mods, melee attacks, set enemies on fire. That sounds cool. I want to set people on fire when I hit them with a pipe or wrench. 
Encounters type hunted. Survive against continuous enemy reinforcements until the timer runs out. Oh, the timer mode. Mods. Some encounters have mods that add special rules, mechanics, and can drastically alter the gameplay. You can view the mods for an encounter on the planning board or from the backpack menu. You can also unlock new mods by completing challenges. Allies will join you for some encounters. Look for the look for this on the planning board while choosing your route. So you have like people with you? That's cool. Oh right, I had a picture of Dina. I was wondering why I had that. So I have Dina with me. So, where should we go? Oh my god, we're starting. Aren't you excited? Turn off flashlight. It's there. Oh my god, what the hell? That was fast. I can barely see. I'm sorry, I wasn't ready. The hell? Oh, you wish. Damn. To be fair, I didn't think it'd be that dark, and they already caught me first. Here, let me try that again, because I didn't realize they were that close already. Can I redo it? So, am I like starting fresh from this, you know, square A, or do I still have my upgrades? Yeah, I'm starting fresh until I die. Gotcha. So, that's how it works. Well then, let's go back to Jackson, or supermarket. Thick fog. Oh, they're infected. Not people. Do they know where I am already? Or am I just supposed to know where I am? Clicker? Oh no, that's not a clicker. That's just like another infected that's almost a clicker. Close together. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Oh, okay, it's a timer. Jeez, I thought you had to kill them. Well, I killed some. I did the best I could.
Then I got Dina. Can I switch characters in the middle of my route or do I have to like redo the entire thing? Can I switch characters? Ooh, pump shotgun. Let's get that one first. Semi auto pistol ammo. And I'm ready. Let's start it. Now this time, let's get Jesse. Gas station hunted. Well, this is for daytime, and we're outside, so it'll be more of a fair fight. Do the ordinal where you are? Jesse, don't get caught. Hey guys, are completed. So is it only like starting the timer once they get caught? Because I feel like that's what happened. New upgrade branch, precision. Precision. What is all this? Aim stability increase, improve aiming stability and accuracy while moving. Improves Molotovs. Press while aiming to hold your breath, steady your aim. That's pretty good. 
Is that for like snipers or like any weapon? Move faster while aiming. There we go. Now I'm pumped full of drugs. Let's kill some people. And I'm ready. Let's go. Now, what are my next options? Only one thing. Resort. Assault. Mods. Decrease enemy health. Decrease health? Like a bleeding effect? Of some sorts? Oh, there's dogs. Oh, there's dogs. I forgot how to take care of those. Do I kill the owner first and then the dog will just run away or do I have to kill the dog too? I think slowly but surely it's gonna scent me so I have to like keep walking around. Sense me. Sorry. I probably should put it down a trap there. What am I a better idea? Oh shit! You're dead. She went over there. I caught her. Here, here. Whoa, where'd you come from? I don't need alcohol, I need rags.
Oh, what's up? You found me. Congrats. You're dead now. Hey there. Move up! Right here! Now that's pretty funny. Oh, Rax, finally. Oops, I <laughs> did not mean to do that. Which way? Oh, that way. Got a fucking visual on her? Hunter down. There. She's 
trying to confuse us. Keep an eye out. All right, did it. Took a lot of planning. Done. No wonder. Does the longer you take, the greater your points? Because I kind of feel like it does. Like maybe there's like a faster time bonus. Let's see, bonus, no ally, stealth kills, that's a bonus, melee, headshots, of course, multipliers, difficulty, mods active, okay, so the difficulty does a lot too, grounded, 2.50, god damn, um, right, okay, so stealth kills, and if I get caught, then I'll just do headshots, pretty much, that's the plan. This place is fucked. What do I got here? Oh, I got a bolt action rifle. New weapon arsenal thingy. Let's grab that. Right off the bat. Can do lost long distance kills. I'll just do what I can, and I'll just continue on. Barely got any um, scrap from the last one. Hold on, I got some pills. Endure. Otherwise, lethal damage will instead leave you at low health, giving you an opportunity to escape. Cool. Needs manual. Find training manuals to unlock new upgrade branches. So these are like stuff you can unlock pretty much forever. But I think I feel like once you start a new run, you have to put more pills, I guess, in the beginning of each run. But I feel like these unlocks are permanent. Okay, what are my options? Office 2 floor, hardware store. Score multiplier, encounter type hunted. What's hunted again? Assault is when they come in waves, what's hunted? Let's do waves. That's what I'm used to. That's a lot of people, so off the bat. Did you already see me? Got a visual on her! Behind 
shit. Hold on, give me a sec. Bitch! Alright, barely survived that one. I have to find like a good place to hide. Cause it seemed like they just rushed in the very first second. They're covering a lot of ground already. That was a bad idea. Get away! Can't have gone far. 
Well, I'm sorry, where? Where were you? Man, they're really good at being quiet because I couldn't even sense them. Now the cache, please have pistol ammo. That'll be good in a... Yes. Only two. Good enough, I guess. I'm gonna stay here. A lot of ground I can cover. Ah, oh, dogs. I'm gonna set a trap. I don't wanna deal with dogs right now. Never mind. They're here. They're here. It's here. I'm dead. Why the hell did that dog just run towards me? Where did they come from? Dead. 
Then that's how you do it. I don't know, I just guess want to be extra for that final kill. <sighs> Fuck. You know, sometimes I gotta think about my supplies, because I have to remember that it carries over to my next areas. Does it? I think it does, right? Everything that I have carries over, like the ammo and the other stuff I made. Like, as long as I don't die, I'm not going to start over and have nothing. Upgrade all preservance skills as Ellie unlocks skin plaid. I got two skins. Nice. New upgrade branch, stealth. Ooh, craft pistol silencer that makes shots silent until it breaks. Hell yeah. Move much faster in listen mode. Increases durability of each crafted silencer. Perfect. Got the entire tree now. Okay, what should I get? Silence the recipe. Is that not what I just got? Melee upgrade recipe. Health kits. Alright. Okay, what's next? Houses, hunted. I don't like hunted. Enemies drop bombs on death. They drop bombs on death? So like, if I do a stealth kill, do they still like Go in their pocket, grab one, and just pull a pin on a grenade. That guy's hauling ass, as if he knew where I was. Okay, so I remember I can crawl around them, but if I get too close in the grass, then they'll catch me for sure. That was a bomb, and they just drop it when they die. Interesting. Got her! Oh, Got what? Her! Where'd she come from? She's running! Oh, 
bomb. Got her. Stop snitching. Oh, it's it. Encounter completed. All right. So I guess it was a timer thing once you get caught. I didn't even check the top how long it was. Like, I'm assuming it was like 30, 20 seconds. Well, I got a B. That's a pretty good score. I know this romance just came out, so I wonder how many people are actually, like, you know, attempting all of these on grounded difficulty. Because I know there's, statistically speaking, there's some people on this earth that probably plays The Last of Us 1 and 2 every day or most than other people do. And, like, they know the ins and outs of all the levels in the game. Stay focused. And so once they play this mode, they're like, oh, yeah, I got this. I am not one of those people. Okay, so what's next? Arcade. Bloater. Oh, it's a boss. And I got Dina, too. Oh, yeah, we're totally gonna take it out. If I can do a solo, well, I can do it with Dina. That's my logic. Unless, I really hope there's not any minions around the boss, because that would suck. Oh, it's straight-up boss fight. Okay, well, I'm running away. And there's no point in Sounder too, so not sure why I have that still. Mother hell. Die. Dina, move. Gotta craft. I can't craft. Are those? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. So, uh, what's the score multiplier for taking out a boss? Oh no! No, no, no. Can't see. Got you. Hey, come on. That was a close one. Oh my god, that almost hit me. That would have been like instant death. That is not the boss. That's the boss. Hold on a second. I am slowly dying. You know, cover me. Son of a... This is on my ass. Oh, 
run complete. Damn. That took me like an hour. I did a field run and then a completed run. It took an hour. I would actually plan on completing a run. I thought it was going to be like a one-time thing, but apparently it's like a whole route of levels that they do. Oh, I got an S rank. Nice. I feel like you only get an S rank just for completing the boss. Fine, that's it. It was like, how can you mess that up, really, unless you died? Defeat the arcade bloater and locks theater infestation. I don't like that. That sounds weird. That's a boss? New character unlocked. Dina. New skin unlocked. Let's show me all the rewards now. Gambits. Are challenges that appear once per encounter riskier gambits give greater rewards? Oh, God. A horde of infected have taken over the Seattle theater. You will face this new boss encounter at the end of your next run. All right, this will be it for the No Return mode in The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. I liked it, and I think it's a really good mode for those people that just religiously play this game every day to conquer every encounter in story mode on the hardest difficulty, because I know there's a good some people on this earth that probably play this game every day, so this is a really good mode for them to try out. There's really good challenges, a lot of randomized stuff that can happen, and yeah, all in all, it's kind of fun. All right, get in here. Bye.